Hi, Texas Clayfest. Uh, what's up? Uh, my name's Chris Long. I'm doing a demo. I'm doing a handle demo for y'all. It's gonna be like this. This is the handle demo I'm gonna be doing. Got this black porcelain that I've made. And we're gonna be doing these handles. Now they're not pulled, uh, which is what's fun about it. It's a pinched handle, um, formed a little differently, and it's pretty easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, I've got this black porcelain here that I've made. Uh, it's just like armadillo cone five porcelain that I've added mason stains to. Um, yeah, so first I'm just gonna like take a chunk of it and sort of like roll it in my hands like this. Um, it's not too precise. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it, you know, something about like that size. This is gonna be a larger handle. These are like three to four finger handles. So I'm using a pretty good sized chunk of clay here. But you know, you can see it's there. It just goes like kind of the width of my palm. So yeah, I'd make a piece of clay like that. And then I'll take it and just soak it in the water here like this. You know, maybe for like 30 seconds or so, just adding moisture to it. Um, Kind of like if you're pulling a handle, you're adding moisture as you go. With this, I'm just adding all of the moisture right up front. But I'm not going to really be adding any moisture to it throughout the process. You want to get it just good and hydrated, otherwise you'll get weird little cracks in it. So, then you'd want to let that set for a while, but I've had some sitting for a while already. <clears throat> so, once those have set up, pretty much just going to sit down in the camping chair. I make all my handles just off my wheel right here. So I'm gonna take one of these hand, one of these pieces of clay. I'm gonna start shaping it in my hands a little bit. I like to tap the ends down. I'm gonna start with like a sort of dog bone shape. So I'm kind of rolling it in my hands, knocking the ends down like that a little bit because I like my handles to go fat to sort of skinny to fat again. That's one of the biggest like uh, things you can accomplish with this type of handle making is controlling the shape as you go. Like with pulling a handle, it just kind of goes fat to skinny. Um, and this has been a cool way I've found that I can make them go fat skinny to fat again. <clears throat> so kind of got it going fat here, fat here. So then I'm just going to basically stick that onto my wheel here. It's nice because it's got a little bit of a curve and that sort of starts to match the uh, shape of the mug there. So, got it stuck on there. This is going to be the bottom part here. So, I've stuck it up there at kind of a sharp angle. And I'm just going to pinch this down like this. And I'm pinching in sort of a diamond shape like this and just walking it down. So I've done that. Now, there's this ridge here and I don't want that. So, I'm just going to pinch this down like that. And I'm just going to repeat that a few times. Sometimes I'll go this way. You can see it stretching out like that. I've got the fat. It's going skinny to fat again. And I'm just stretching it like this. So, and I'll oop, let it fall off there. Um, yeah, now I've got it kind of the length I want. <clears throat> and then I'm basically going to take this top part, I flipped it over, stick that in there, it's going to fatten out even more, keep squishing it in, and yeah, that's a decent starting place, <clears throat> so I'll pop, pop that off, and then I'll take, you know, a thrown mug forms, thrown and trimmed, I did that earlier today, and then I'm basically just going to kind of see on here where it's going to live happily. You know, I'll just kind of like eyeball it a little bit. And then I like to sort of take my thumbnails and mark the zone where it's gonna be attached like that. And then I'll take my little scoring tool that I made, which is just like a wine cork with a handful of sewing needles stuck in it. And, um, you know, score those zones that I established just a second ago. Score that there. I like to score it a lot. Spend a bunch of time scoring it. And then I'll 
actually take the paintbrush here, add some water, and then I'm gonna score it again. I'm making a little layer of slip here. Since these mugs are right at leather hard, and score it, add water, score it again, and now we've just got this like messy layer of slip there, which is just perfect for keeping handles attached. One thing I like about this type of handle making is you have these big, beefy, like, attachment spots, and it keeps the handle just, like, really on there. I really like that in a mug. So, we've got it scored. It's on there. Well, it's not on there yet. Set this here. Take the handle. Score it. I like to score in the opposite direction. I don't know if it actually matters, but I've always done it that way. <clears throat> Scoring. So, take it, take my hand, my middle finger is right on the other side of where I scored it, just to balance out the pressure. So, and I'll just squish it on there. Make sure I try and cover up all the score marks, making sure that when I'm applying the pressure, I'm doing it so in a way that like doesn't squish the handle more in one direction than the other, keeping it nice and even and clean looking. Squishing that on there. Do it again to the top. Again, I got my hand back here, um, equalizing the pressure. Squish that in, and I'm just, you know, pushing it in. And just trying to even it out, make it a nice little like oval shape. And then the last thing you get to do, because right now you can see it's like all ugly, um, you get to make, you get to sort of edit that shape. Um, this is where the real magic kind of happens. So you can make that like a sort of harmonious curve. <clears throat> and I'm just going in there and just wherever it needs to be pushed, I'll push it there just to make that curve even and fit the form a little bit better. Um, it's really kind of the last step and sometimes depending on how many mugs I've done in a day this can be like one of the steps that I like never feel like I'm done with I'll just sit here and tweak the angle of a handle for like so many so much time but you know it's really not that big of a deal that looks fine um so yeah there we go boom add it onto the board freaking handles you know, pinched handles, different way to make them. Pretty fun, give it a try. I hope you're enjoying Clay Fest. Uh, if you're here in person or you're here on the internet, whatever, that's cool. Thanks for watching the video, bye.